Hi everyone, it's Grace from Esri. In this video, we will follow the Share a Web Map tutorial in ArcGIS Pro. This tutorial will show you how to share web map to ArcGIS Online, modify the web map in Map Viewer, and view the updated content in ArcGIS Pro. You can follow the written instructions for this tutorial in the ArcGIS Pro documentation. Let's get started. I've started ArcGIS Pro and signed in to my ArcGIS Online account. We'll start by opening the Share Web Map Project Package. Make sure the portal is set to ArcGIS Online and search for Share Web Map V310. The project opens with a map zoomed into Scotland. The map includes medical facility locations, roads, urban and rural areas, and city labels. First, let's reset the panes for mapping so that only the contents and catalog panes are open. Zoom to each bookmark to see how the map looks at different scales, and return to the full extent bookmark. Right-click the map name, click Properties, and go to the Metadata tab. The metadata will be included in the Web Maps Item Details page when you share it. Click the Coordinate System tab and notice that the coordinate system is set to WGS 1984 Web Mercator. You must use this coordinate system if your map includes a base map, such as the dark gray canvas used in this project, which is in this coordinate system. On the General tab, check the Allow Assignment of Unique Numeric IDs for Sharing Web Layers checkbox. Checking this box assigns a layer ID to each layer in the map based on drawing order. Layer IDs are used to keep track of layers once they are shared to the web. Now, let's prepare the map for sharing. On the Share tab, click Web Map. In the Share as Web Map pane, change the name to Scotland Medical Facilities, followed by your name. Notice that the Summary and Tags fields are filled in with the information from the map's metadata. If necessary, confirm that the Select a Configuration dropdown is set to Copy All Data Exploratory. This should be the default if your active portal is ArcGIS Online. Leave the checkbox for Use Symbol Types Compatible with All Clients unchecked to avoid symbology downgrades. Leave the location with no folder specified so that the map is shared to the root level of your portal content, and check the box to share with your organization. These settings are optional. We are setting them like this, but you can do it the way you want. At the top of the Share Web Map pane, click the Configuration tab. Here you see the items that will be shared to your portal. At the bottom of the pane, click Analyze to check for any warnings or errors. There are no errors, but there is a warning that clustering visualization may be downgraded. This means that the feature clustering behavior supported in ArcGIS Pro may not be fully supported in web applications, but this won't prevent us from sharing. Under Finish Sharing, click Share to share the web map to ArcGIS Online. This may take a few minutes. Once sharing is complete, click the Manage the Web Map link to open the map in ArcGIS Online. The Maps item page appears with the Overview tab selected at the top. Most of the information on the item details page comes from the map's metadata in ArcGIS Pro. You'll add the terms of use. Scroll down to the Terms of Use heading. To the right of the heading, click Edit and add the terms of use, and save the changes. Next, we will explore and modify the map in Map Viewer. If Map Viewer Classic is set as your default, you will have to click the drop down to select Map Viewer. Open the Maps legend and explore the map. Click Bookmarks and go to each of the three bookmarks, similar to what we did earlier in ArcGIS Pro. We will add a fourth bookmark for the city of Aberdeen. We will be able to see this change later when we open the web map in ArcGIS Pro. Click Map Tools, open the search bar, and search for Aberdeen. Then, in the Bookmarks pane, Add a new bookmark and name it Aberdeen. Return to the full extent bookmark, close the bookmarks pane, search bar, and search pop-up, and save your changes. Let's take a look at the current content we have in ArcGIS Online. Close the ArcGIS Online browser window for now, and return to ArcGIS Pro. 
In the catalog pane, click the Portal tab and make sure My Content is selected. From here, you add and open your web map that was modified in ArcGIS Online. We are done with the old map so we can close it. Closing the map doesn't remove it from the project. In the catalog pane, we will see that the project still contains two maps, so we can reopen it later. In the contents pane, switch the view to list by data source. Here you can see that the source of every layer, except for the base map, is from the web feature layer in your portal. On the map tab, click bookmarks. Bookmarks are present for both maps in your project, with the web map having an additional bookmark that we added in ArcGIS Online. Let's go to the Aberdeen bookmark. We've now seen how a map can be edited in ArcGIS Online and then viewed in Pro. So let's make an edit in Pro and see how to view the updates in ArcGIS Online. Let's change the color of the primary road symbol from a light gray to a yellow. To save the changes back to the portal, go back to the Share tab and click Save Web Map. The Save Web Map window appears, informing you that the web map has been changed in a different application. This is referring to when you added the Aberdeen bookmark in Map Viewer. Any properties that were removed when the web map was converted to an ArcGIS Pro map will be lost if the web map is saved. In this case, there's nothing to worry about, so we will go ahead and click Save Web Map. In the pane, some parameters are disabled, either because they can't be changed or because they aren't used. By default, the Archive the Last Updated Web Map checkbox is checked. An archived copy of the web map in its current state in the portal will be preserved in case you need to revert to it. Click Analyze. As you did earlier, you can ignore the warning about clustering visualization. Click Save. When the map has finished saving, click Manage the web map to view the updated map in ArcGIS Online. The web map opens to the Aberdeen bookmark extent because that was the map extent when you saved it in ArcGIS Pro. Notice that the primary roads are now yellow instead of light gray. In the Options menu, click Content to view the new and archived web maps. For more detailed steps, Follow the full written tutorial in the ArcGIS Pro documentation, linked in the description for this video.